So do you want to record voiceover into your iMovie projects? Maybe you want to record it from an iPhone or maybe you've got an external USB microphone like this SL600 microphone I've got here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do it in a couple of easy steps. So let's jump into it. Okay, so we're in the MacBook Pro again, and I'm going to show you the best way to record a voiceover into your iMovie project. Now, you may want to record a voiceover if you're doing some YouTube videos, if you're sort of narrating over some of your B-roll or some product shots, or if you're doing a travel video, or if you're doing a business video. And this is the best way. You know, a lot of people will record into an external recorder and then send that in, but it's a little bit hard to judge your timings. So what you need first of all is get an external USB microphone. This is the Studio Series SL600. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check it out. But essentially all you need to do is get to the point in your timeline where you want your recording to start. And then if you look below your preview window here, you'll see this little microphone icon. Simply click this and then this will bring up your uh, voiceover recording settings. Click this little box here on the right hand side first and then this gives you the options to choose your microphone. Now you can see the Editor's Keys SL600 microphone is here. I'm not going to select that because I'm using this of course to do the tutorial now. So I'm just going to leave it to the system setting. You can then adjust the volume and you can see how loud your microphone is by this little bar here and you can choose to mute the project, which you'll want to do if there's a lot of noise or music playing in your project. So that's all okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get to the start point here, hit record, we then get a 3, 2, 1 countdown. So this is a voiceover of me walking through Manchester City Centre. We're now going past some shops on the left and the right, and this is the end of the voiceover. Hit stop. And as you can see, your voiceover is now in time at the bottom of the video. Now, if I play this back, you probably won't hear it very well because it's recorded with um, the MacBook's mic rather than this one. So this is a voiceover of me walking through Manchester city centre. We're now going past some shops on the left and the right. And this is the end of the voiceover. So if you could hear that, you can hear the voiceover being played in time with the video. And that's really great because if you are talking about something which is in the video and you don't have a true script, you can at least see your timings. You can see what's happening on screen and maybe add some commentary to your videos. So that's how you add a voiceover to iMovie. So there you go, you can now record voiceover into iMovie with no problems at all. And remember, this is part of my iMovie playlist to take you from beginner to pro in no time. So make sure you check out the entire playlist. Uh, in the next episode, I'm going to show you how you can use more than one clip on your timeline and actually do some split screening, or you can have picture in picture, just like the news. So stay tuned for that one.